Hey everyone, Tim T. Graham with RC Groups. We're down here on the electric line with Jason Merkel, who you might know from RC Groups Forum. He's been a member for over 20 years. Yeah, one of the first ones, if I recall, in 1996. And if you go into Electric Plane Talk, you might be lucky enough to find a post that says, hey, there's a new airplane. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm always hunting these down, and we actually found a real new airplane right yes. here at Joan Hall 2022. So tell us all about it. So it's not been announced officially yet, so you might be seeing this before. It's actually on our website or, or even on RC Groups, although now it's going to be there first. So uh, this is the E-Flight Corsair 1.2 meter, but it's been updated and upgraded. So we gave it the treatment that we've given a lot of our uh, recent updates and upgrades. So it's got now, a, well, we'll basically talk about the airframe. It's the same airframe. We didn't change anything about it because it didn't need to be changed. But the biggest thing you'll see is that we did change the trim scheme. Originally it had the white and green stripes, uh, which is a little unusual, a little bit unique. It helped with visibility, but a lot of guys said, hey, it's a Corsair, it needs to be all blue. So we went to the all blue paint job. It does come just like you see it out of the box with the stars and bars applied, but we then include decal sheets that allow you to customize with Navy and Marines trim schemes. There's a bunch of numbers here, so you can personalize it, customize it with the numbers that you prefer. And so I think that's a better canvas for a lot of people to customize, personalize. It'll be easier to repaint this configuration as well. We went to a 70 amp smart ESC, a smart light ESC, and we have a 631 receiver in the Binafly Basic version. We will launch it with a Binafly Basic and a plug and play version. But a lot of times the plug and plays, we kind of let them fizzle out because 95% of people pretty much want the bind and fly because it has AS3X, it has safe select as an option, and now in this case we've got the smart telemetry. So if you have uh, any battery, it doesn't matter whether it's a smart battery or a regular battery, it works with the overall voltage of the battery, it gives you the motor RPM, it gives you the motor current, and what's nice is you can then set that low voltage alert, so nowadays I don't even fly to my timer anymore. Huh. I used to do that and then I'd leave gas in the tank. Now I just fly until my low voltage alert comes on on my transmitter, which is a little bit before the, B, the LVC of, of the ESC, and I just know to land then. And so uh, the other thing that we did when we updated the power system is we went from uh, 3S only, or some guys unofficially recommended and flew it on 4S. Uh, now it officially is set up for 4S. So we've been flying it with everywhere from a 3S 2200 or 4S 2200, very popular to a 4S 3200, I will say it's pulling like 70 amps now. So a 30, uh, sorry, 2200 will work, but it's pushed. And so the flight times are kind of short, maybe you know, four to five minutes if you fly a lot of full throttle. You could probably eke out six, seven minutes. I like the 3200 myself. I get a little bit more flight time, a little bit more performance. It is a little heavier. So something I, you gotta watch out for, especially with the Corsair, is you don't wanna put the battery too far forward. A lot of people think, oh, nose heavy is better. No, nose heavy is not better, especially with this. It'll nose over real bad. So you have to watch out for that. I run my 3200 actually a little bit off the battery tray, a little bit farther back, 2200 right on the back of the, tra of the tray. Again, four cell batteries in particular. Uh, but outside of that, the performance with 4S is stellar. It is like 80, 85 miles per hour in level flight, unlimited vertical. So more than scale. And there's, am I seeing flaps? Yeah, we've got the functional split flaps. Um, and so they actually do, as they come down, split, just like the full scale did, which is cool. So we kept that from the original. We do also have rotating retracts, which of course look awesome when they're coming on and off, or going up and down. I don't know if you saw in the demo, I was playing with them and just putting them up and down because it just looks cool. So since this thing is uh, not really released, when will, uh, can, will, can they expect to see it? <laughs> so it's officially announcing a week from today, so next Thursday, um, and then it will be available soon thereafter. They're already on the way to us now. There's been a lot of delays in shipping still. We're dealing with COVID lockdowns in, in China, container shipping delays, all kinds of things. We've got parts that are delayed, stuck in all kinds of places. We're doing our best, we're trying our best to get more and more product here. Not only new stuff, but also just parts even for, or replacement stock for our existing models. One thing I do want to point out, we've been getting a hard time about this. Our last, you know, half dozen or so announcements have just been updated models. We haven't announced anything all new, meaning, you know, a model we haven't had before. And that's not intentional. We didn't mean for this to happen. Sometimes we always try to mix them up. like one refresh a couple new ones one refresh a couple new ones that's in a perfect world we're not in a perfect world we're in a world that's been you know a little bit out of our control for a while and so we've had a lot of these refreshes in a row but don't worry don't get mad at us don't post oh all you guys ever do is regurgitate stuff 
hey, this thing is better than it's ever been. I love this airplane, and I really wanted it back in blue with more power. We got that. I think a lot of people are going to be with me on this. Uh, smart updates, of course. Um, but it's nice to bring these back, but we have a lot of all new stuff coming. Probably, let's say, the latter half of the year, maybe latter quarter of the year in particular. A lot of really cool all new stuff, ultra micro, up to giant scale, jets, sport, stole, a little bit of everything. So keep an eye on RC groups in particular, like Jim T said, every Thursday, I'll usually <laughs> stay up real late on a Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and I'll post those things so you guys can see it there first, sometimes before it's even on our website. And then I bird dog them, enhance them, make them features, and then they go out in mass email so everyone can find out about it. I want to give special uh, bonus points to Jason. He's been out here all day long, and you're still succinct and really laying down the verbiage, so great work. Thank you. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys were able to come by. It's been a great event. It's a little windy today, and I think tomorrow's rain, but you know what? That's okay. Yeah, we're pretty good. much coming up to the end. Thanks, everyone. Thank RCGroups.com. Horizon up.